Hi everyone and welcome back to the New Jersey Disney Family Channel. We hope Hello. everyone is staying safe throughout this time with their families and making the best of it. So today we're going to share with you guys our top five rides, my five and Joe's five, our favorites, and then the top five kid rides that we think are suitable for kids. Yeah, so this going to be the top five kid rides that are suitable for all ages. You know, you can, our son is one and these are going to be rides that he can go on except for the one ride, uh, but I'll explain later why it's on there. Uh, so we're going to start off going to Epcot and with the seas with Nemo and friends. Um, basically, it's a really good, it's a slow moving track ride um, or belt ride. It keeps going around and it's got a lot of colors. Uh, the fish, everything's really bright, neon. Uh, it's got the catchy tunes from uh, Nemo, Nemo uh, the, all the little uh, LCD screens. So it keeps the kid visually focused. occupied, focused the whole time. Yep. So that's, that's the first one. The second one is in Animal Kingdom, the Navi River Journey Ride. I know I mentioned in a prior video to this one that I would so appreciate that more after watching Avatar. Um, this is located in Pandora, same concept, the ambient lighting, it's a water ride, so it's calm, the music, the animatronics that are in the ride, um, and basically just, I think what captures the young kids, like the babies, are the lights just seeing like all the lights light up and it's darker. Yeah. So the lights are more bright, which captures yeah, really their pop. attention. So that's our second ride. Uh, next we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom uh, and Animal Kingdom because the rides are almost identical. Uh, so we're gonna go with Dumbo and Triceratops uh, Spin, which is in the, the Dino Land. Uh, they're basically like I said, the, the, almost the exact same ride except for one is Dumbo, one's a dino, uh, Triceratops. <laughs> Uh, same concept, you go around in a circle and you control the, the Dumbo or the Triceratops with a little lever inside and makes it go up and down. Uh, kids like it because they can control it uh, and it, you know, it goes up pretty high actually and, uh, and they're usually not a long wait. Dumbo has two of them, uh, you know, one on each side and Triceratops usually there's not a big line there. Uh, we went there without a fast pass, got it no problem. Uh, so that's that one. That is located in Dino Land and Animal Kingdom just so you know. Um, the next one is going to be back at Magic Kingdom. As you guys know, Magic Kingdom is geared towards the younger kids. Um, so we do have a lot of rides that are in Magic Kingdom, but this one is the Barnstormer. Like Joe suggested, there was going to be a ride that we talked about for the top five rides for kids that wouldn't be suitable for like baby babies because this is a roller coaster. This is the first roller coaster that Addison went on. Mm -hmm. We started her off on this because it's not too bad. Um, so it's like, I don't know. I think it's a good one for... If you have like that that age where yeah. they're like ready, but you don't know if they're ready, it's this is a, a good one. It's a great one. way to, and I put that on her, or we put that on her, uh, because it's just easy. It's an easy um, transition transition right. into the big rides like Mine Train and, and etc. So like she, we, we put her on that ride first. We made sure she went on it two three times and made sure she liked uh, roller coasters before we put her on a big one. So it's, it's it's a fast ride. So even if they don't like it, it ends in a snap. So. Right. You know, you'll know right then and there if your kid likes rides or not. Addison now it goes crazy, but it's a great ride. Uh, like I said, it was her first ride, our first roller coaster together. So, you know, it's got a little special place for me or for us. And, uh, but it's a great transition ride. That's what we're It is, for. and it's not too overwhelming. And then we're going to end it um, in Hollywood Studios with Disney Junior Dance Party. Both of my kids did this experience. Again, you always meet people that are like, oh, well, there's nothing for your two month old or three month old to do. This is a perfect, perfect, um, it's not a ride, it's a show and it's in Hollywood Studios and it's basically all the characters from Disney Junior, Mickey, um, I know when Addison was little, it was like Doc McStuffins, I think yeah, now it's, it. I don't even know, who's Vampirina. Yeah, Vampirina. Um, so they're constantly like changing those characters. Oh, Mickey and the Roadster Racers. But Mickey and the, the Roadster Racers are always there. They've been there and it's cute. Like I even had fun as an adult. We were up dancing, it's like a club vibe. They have music, a then DJ. The, uh, what the, um... They have the oh, the confetti, the, the the confetti comes down. Yeah. So it's really interactive. It's a lot of fun. The only downfall to this ride, just so you know and you can be prepared, is you do have to sit on the floor. And the show, I mean, depending on when you get there, it could take a few minutes to start. So, like, my kids were, like, up. They were walking. So just be ready for that. Um, you know, if you go and you experience that. But other than that, it's great. And don't worry. You're not going to be the only parent that has your child running away from you. So that's the nice thing about Disney is, like, you feel like, you're normal because everyone's experiencing the same things you are with your and, kids. And right outside that ride is all the Nick Jr. character. I mean, the Nick. The, the, the Disney Jr. characters. The, the greets, right. Uh, the mean greets, like Doc McStuffins and um, 
Right, there's who else is there? I don't know. It changes. Yeah, I don't know if Ian Doc is around um, as much as she used to be. But yeah, so they got the, the signature places right there. So those were our top five kid rides. Um, we hope that helped for you and your family or for your next trip that you're going to experience at Disney World. So now we're going to move on to our top five rides. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do my first of my top five rides. And I'm going to go to Animal Kingdom for Expedition Everest. Um, and for a reason why I like it, it's uh, there's a lot of drops. A, a lot, lot of speed. drops. Um, I like the fact that it, you... We should put my uh, picture of my... Uh, yeah, we're going to put your picture in here. <laughs> when I uh, went off for the first time. It's so fast. I like how you go forward. <laughs> then you go backward uh, pretty just as fast, which is awesome. Um, the line goes pretty quick. Uh, one little tidbit of information, they have single rider lines there as well as rider swap. Um, so the ride, the ride's always moving. It's, it's really high. Definitely a pretty intense ride for sure. Uh, you need like Advil when you come off that yeah, ride. Yeah, it's an intense ride, but a great ride. <laughs> and the older we get, the worse it gets well, yeah. for me. Um, all right, so I'm gonna come in with my first ride and this is not that exciting, but I love this ride and it's a slow, I mean, you can bring kids all ages on this ride. Mm. I think we brought Addison when she was a baby, um, which is Pirates of the Caribbean at Magic Kingdom. Same concept as like Small World and Frozen and Navi River, it's a boat ride. And the only thing with this ride is it can be a little loud, like with the cannons going off. And there's also a little drop, what's like six feet maybe, the drop, yeah, no. nothing crazy. But I love this ride, I love the movies. Um, and it's just one of my favorites that I have to go on every time I go to Magic Kingdom, so. And it's one of the originals. <clears throat> right. One of the original rides, so. Um, for my number four ride, I'm going to go to uh, Epcot for this one. I know it's going to sound silly, but... You're counting uh, backwards? Yeah, oh. I'm backwards, yeah. So I'm going with Frozen okay, Ever After. Um, I never got the ride The ride before that. It was... Uh, the, it, um, what was it called? It was in Norway. Yeah, it's I, in Norway. And every time I went to go ride the boat ride, it, it was broken. It was unbelievable. We went there a bunch of times. Every time it was, it was uh, malfunctioning I'm somehow. And uh, if we get the name, we'll put it in the comments. And uh, I'm assuming it was very similar from what I've heard. Either way, it's a great ride. Um, the boat, I like how the boat, again, it goes forward, goes backwards, has a couple of drops for a boat ride. Um, so you would think that's yeah, another Navi River. It is not, it's, it's a really good boat ride. Uh, all the, the animatronics, the new, that's when they first started using the, uh, like the faces as like the pictures. Oh, like they, they project, they project the, face the face onto on there. the figure. Um, right. So it looked really realistic. That's a good ride. I, I like it. And that's why I put it on board. If you guys have been on the old ride that was there prior to Frozen, I guess the track is like the same layout as mm. the old ride. So if you've been on the old ride but haven't been on Frozen, it's the same layout. It's just obviously the scenes are different. So good to know. Um, coming in for my number two, Joe's counting backwards. But these are just our top five rides. There's really no order. Um, is Slinky Dog. I just got to experience this at Hollywood Studios and it was a lot of fun. I didn't think it was gonna be as good. I thought it was just gonna be like a coaster for younger kids. And it was a lot of, a lot of fun. It's definitely worth the wait if you can't get a fast pass, um, but try to fast pass it because it was an amazing ride. Uh, well, my are in order. I'm gonna put mine in order. Of course, so you don't have to put it's gonna order. be I'm difficult. Um, so I'm going with number three. I'm going to Hollywood for this one and I'm going with the Rock and Roller Coaster. Um, it's uh, one of the only rides that it's at night and it goes upside down. What do you mean it's at night? It's dark. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dark the whole ride. ride is dark. It's dark. Uh, it goes very, very fast. Um, you know, it's exciting. Uh, I kind of like the. I feel more comfortable because I don't like heights, so I feel more comfortable when it's dark inside. And I can't see. And I can't see where I'm going and just going fast. Uh, so that's why I put that there. It is exciting. Uh, it is usually a long wait, but well worth the wait. And my number three is gonna be in Epcot. It's Soaring Around the World. It is a ride, again, that I feel everybody should take advantage of and go see if they're going to Disney World. Um, I love it. Addison went on it, she loved it. I think what's really amazing is how they make you feel like you're really soaring all over the world. Um, they incorporate like scents mm -hmm. from all over the world. Um, like you go into the jungle at one part and you can smell like the grass and the, the dirt. The beach. Uh, my favorite scene is the beach. You actually smell these like majestical scents from like a resort. Excuse Jacob for coughing in the back. Um, but it's amazing. Disney amazes me on how they do things and how they just make you feel like you're there. So Soaring Around the World is an awesome ride. And I also highly suggest 
that you take advantage of that when you're visiting Disney. Uh, so for my number two, and this may surprise a lot of people, um, it's also at Hollywood. Uh, but the reason why I'm putting a number two is it's not necessarily a ride in my opinion, and that's Rise of the Resistance, uh, but from Star Wars. Uh, we for, didn't pick the same. I would have put that in my Q2, but we were trying not to pick the same rides. Yeah, we'll keep it that was like the only one I think we both felt should be in your top five. Uh, a lot of people put that number one, but I feel it's more an experience than a ride. I mean, because it's, it's incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, just the theming, the theming going through uh, just the walkway to get to the ride and then the multi-stage part of the ride right. and the fact that the ride is almost 20 minutes long. In total, uh, there's no, I mean, every ride's the max, what, minute to two minutes, you know. Yeah, that it, was crazy that it took that long. When you went on first, because we did the rider swap, like mm -hmm. we mentioned in our other video um, that we posted on our channel, you were like, you have, you were like, it's 25 minutes, the ride. I was like, mm -hmm. what? Thank God the baby was sleeping and only had to watch Addison, but I was like, 25 minutes, but Just Everything that goes crazy. on with the, the trackless system that they have and the lightsaber cutting through the, the walls, and I have it in my video. It's, you know, they break you out, the act, you know, it's basically they have actors there, you know, you know, helping you You posted, speed. we have a video yeah. in our channel, Rise of the Resistance. It, it's not going to give you the full effect because you won't get it unless you're there in person, but definitely check it out if you want to see what so, we're talking about. And the ride, you know, and the reason why I say it's not really a ride and more of an experience, it wasn't that intense. Well, you know, on the, on the videos, it looks a little bit more intense, but it really wasn't. But it was just such a great experience. It, it's just unbelievable. And, and you have to, it's 100% worth the mini lift it took to get there and getting there at 6 30. The line. The line. It was a thousand percent <laughs> worth it. Um, it I'm was. I'm keeping it at number two because uh, there's one that holds near and dear to me. And I, I, th I think it's more experienced than a ride. Okay. Um, my number four is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I love that roller coaster. It's in Magic Kingdom. Um, Addison also experienced that. It's a great ride. We always fast pass it because it's always such a long wait. No matter what time of year you're going, it's always going to be a long wait. The only positive thing to waiting online is you get to experience like the things they have to do while you're waiting. Um, I think we waited on that once mm -hmm. and they had like the jewels. Remember the oh, jewels yeah. you can play with? So it kind of keeps the kids busy as you're waiting online, which I like. Um, so I like that ride. I, I mean, I'm not a big ride person. When I was younger, I used to be more adventurous. I'm a little boring now, as Joe can vouch. Um, so it's like a happy medium for me. It's a roller coaster, but it's not too too much of a yeah, roller coaster. It's not huge drops or anything like that. And it's not like super fast. Yeah. And good, the carts good. sway back and forth like mine carts. It's really, really fun. Um, so I had to put that in my top five. Uh, and we're going to go to number one now, and we're going to Magic Kingdom for this. And... It's uh, right on my shirt here. Uh, Space Mountain is my number one favorite ride. It's more of my tradition almost every time. Basically, every time we go to Disney, uh, either the first day or the second day, because uh, the first day we either do nothing, but either way, it's always Magic Kingdom, and I always try to go to Space Mountain first. Uh, but why was this time we went extra special for you for Space Mountain? Oh, well, it was extra special because it's the first time my daughter, who's five, went on a ride, uh, put her hands up the entire time. Yeah. Uh, I did kind of lean forward and hold her a little bit because I don't think she realized how much that ride kind of jostles <laughs> you, you around, around whips you around. Uh, but again, it's more that theme. I like the dark. I like not being able to see where I'm going and just getting tossed around. Uh, you know, we went on there with tons of family members. I, I would go back to back to back. Uh, it's my favorite ride. I love it. And that's, to me, the number one ride. It's one of the uh, originals. Not an original. I know it came a couple of years after um disney world open but it is just it's it's the best ride and I, I love it so that's my number one and then my last ride is mickey's runaway railway um we experienced this for the first time on our last trip which was um in march and i know people are gonna go against me because they like the great movie ride and guess what so do i i went on the great movie ride i loved it um, but we got to face it. It's no longer there. And I think Disney did a good job with this ride, with replacing the great movie ride. I mean, we always have rides that hold a special place in our heart, but they're constantly trying to stay with the times and, you know, capture everyone's audience mm -hmm. and the attention of, capture the audience and the attention, I should say, of everybody. Um, and I, I was impressed. I, I will say I, w I was impressed with that ride. And actually, I was kind of, uh, we have a lot of people that are hit or miss on the, the cartoon. Yes. That new Mickey cartoon. 
uh, the way it's drawn out, but it actually, because it's not really for kids, it's kind of surprising. You watch it, and it's, well, there's some they said that it's a little bit, it's geared more for like a mature, teen, you know, audience, yeah, it's, even but, though Addison likes them, yeah. So we all went on a ride, and it was good. And then I then it actually got me into watching the cartoon, the shorts, the Mickey shorts, and they're actually pretty funny the way they act. It's uh, it's not your normal. Uh, Mickey Mouse, you know, is the greatest, does it all. I mean, right. there's times he gets a lot of things wrong and, you know, he's getting uh, blown up and stuff like that. And it's uh, it's definitely a different twist on Mickey and the pals. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that ride. Um, I don't know how it's going to be after this is all said and done with this coronavirus. I don't know how the parks are going to react after this. I mean, you have people like us that are like dying to go back and then you have people that are skeptical about returning so soon after this whole outbreak. Um, so I can't say what I would do if I was going to the park because when we went it was like the second day of opening or third day second day, second day. and uh, the wait was still long uh, we did get there early we didn't have a fast pass either so we had to get there early to go on that ride and wait and I think we waited two hours um, but you know, I don't know what to say. I don't know how the parks are going to be once this, we get the clear to, to travel again and do what we would do on, you know, going to Disney. You know, but speaking of that, I mean, we're, we're following up with reading uh, as much as we can. And it, it looks like right now there's May is the earliest that Disney's going to open. Uh, right. it looks like the middle to end of April is already, uh, done. I mean, you got the Universal Studios already said. Uh, and it may April's even be longer. Out. So I don't know. I don't know when it's going to open. All I know is when it does open, maybe like the first day it does, look at your wait time, see what's happening in the parks, get a feel of how long things are taking to get on, what the wait time is. And then I guess use your judgment. Um, but, you know, two hours went pretty quick and they kept the line moving. And, yeah. um, you know, again, I can't predict what's going to happen. But it's definitely a ride that I suggest everyone take advantage of. And I will keep saying take advantage of all my rides that I listed because I love them. Um, but it was good. It was really good. I did say Slinky yeah, Dog. Yeah. <laughs> so those were our top five rides. We hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, if you have any rides that you love, comment down below. We would love to hear your opinion. Or if you have any questions about any of these rides, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And we hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.